with Tom Forsai still unfit. Rangers start with the outfield players who took part in that exciting 3-3 draw at Celtic Park last week, which means that Gordon Diel keeps his place up front. And the only changes in goal were Jim Stewart replaces the injured Peter McCloy, and Stewart has terrible memories of his debut for Rangers when he lost 4-1 to United Ibrox in March in a league match, although he was in the team which got revenge in the cup final replay in May. And United make one change at fullback where young Morris Malpass steps down in favour of the experienced Derek Stark. So Rangers start the match. And a lot of shouting around the terraces as both sets of supporters try to generate some support for their teams. With the opening 15 minutes undoubtedly crucial for both sides, particularly perhaps for Dundee United. They may recall that's the period in which they lost the cup final replay, losing an early goal and never properly recovering. So Jackson's tackling Sturrock. And that's a free kick to Rangers. Worked away by Kirkwood, a long chase for Sturrock, he's in space. Jackson trying to get on terms. And Sturrock perhaps just hurrying his final shot. You can see with a shake of the head, he thinks he should have done better. John Holt and Derek Johnston. Dodd jumping with Jordan, that's Stevens sweeping up. And good play from Cooper. Got the L on the right. Johnston waiting in the middle. That's in for Johnston. And Philip Marty on closely. They got his clearing header. Oh, Nick Miller. This is John McDonald. Looking for Derek Johnston. And great goalkeeping by Hamish McAlpine. Johnston still on the deck. This threat to the United defence already obvious. A slanted cross coming in from John McDonald. Johnston in space and the flashing header well picked out by Hamish McAlpine. John Gregg on the track. Well, you can see that clearly. A badly cut right eye. And I fear that Derek Johnston will take no further part in the match. They get his header picked up by Kirkwood. Feeding Rolf Milne. Now Sturrock. Attacking Jackson. And the help arriving in the form of Stevens. Now Sturrock was cutting off the pass back, forcing Miller wide. And the throw is to Rangers. Alec Miller running into trouble. Played in by Philip and Stevens again. John McDonald. Start coming all the way across to Mark Cooper. His Holt. Stanek is onside. And a well judged tackle by Colin Jackson. You can see the throw, but United trying to take advantage of having an extra player in the field. Sturrock again, running it back to Milne, there's Eamon Bannon, coming in behind Paul Hegarty with the header, and that was really very close indeed. And just playing across their back four, now a little exposed as Kirkwood takes over for United. Ralph Milne. Cross ball looking for Dodds and good goalkeeping by Jim Stewart. And the return of Derek Johnston to a marvellous ovation from the Rangers supporters. So 
But Johnston is waved back on with a plaster over his right eye. The Rangers have played for almost 10 minutes with 10 men. Now restored to a full complement. It's Milne for United. Free kick for that challenge by McDonald. Channeling a lot through Rolf Milne. There's Bannon again, too far out with that header. Oh, Johnston not losing any confidence. And McCall Pine looked very calm indeed as that ball almost sneaked over his head. Pushing by Jackson on Sturrock, free kick to United. Looking for Sturrock. And again, splendid defending by Colin Jackson. He's upset at the corner kick being awarded, but it was nevertheless an excellent tackle. Milne flighting it in. There's John Holt. Phillip trying to find Sturrock with a short ball. It's cut out by Russell. Now Cooper, still United applying the pressure, this is Milne, good save from Jim Stewart, a gap opened up for Ralph Milne and he switched the ball to his right foot, a lot of power but Stewart had it covered. And start relieved to find that Russell couldn't keep that in. Clumsy challenge from behind by Jackson. So Sturrock is on the deck and some of the United players expressing their displeasure to referee Eddie Pringle. Jackson certainly came in fiercely from behind. Sturrock trying one of his tons. Sturrock appears to have recovered. Bannon flighting it in. There's Hegarty. And Stewart taking that at the second attempt. Hegarty staying up. Well, now Hegarty finding much too much room in that Rangers box for the liking, I'm sure, of John Gregg. Bannon's free kick, a downward header, and Stewart fumbling it the first time. Milne returning it. Now Sturrock. Stewart coming out. There's Dodds. And United highly on the pressure. Oh, United have seized the initiative right from the start. Apart from one dangerous moment from the head of Derek Johnston, the traffic has generally been towards Jim Stewart. Yell's been doing a lot of very good, intelligent running. Well, not a very good ball from Alec Miller. Beck's forced to leave it. Creating space for John. There's Derek Johnston beyond the L. And Dodds back with the covering header. from Stevens. Uh, Kirkwood back to Sturrock. Kirkwood kept going forward and it's quite, didn't quite take the ball in his stride. Jordan's pass back was safe along with right of Jim Stewart. A great return ball into the path of Kirkwood. If he could have taken that in his stride, it must have been the opener. Now Cooper. 
McDonald taken out of the play by Dodds. Rangers free kick. A word of warning for David Dodds. Johnston holding off Hegarty. Cooper working onto his left foot. Well, that's the kind of play Rangers supporters like to see from Davy Cooper. Dribbling and jinking his way inside onto that powerful left foot, and the final shot just too direct at McAlpine. Tiger declining on the back of Derek Johnston, free kick to Rangers. For five minutes of the first half left, again Jackson is up. Cooper finding Russell wide. And the header at the far side coming in from Colin Jackson, he just couldn't direct it properly. Jackson's header forward, and with Rangers now appearing to have weathered that tremendous storm early on from United, the Rangers supporters in full voice, but here's trouble for Rangers, David Dodds. Tackled by Stevens. Kirkwood has Bannon on the outside. Stark coming up also. That's Derry. 1-2 with Phillip. Stark trying to lay it back in the path of Derry. Jackson reacting quickly. Cooper into space for DL and look at the sweeping capabilities of Hamish McAlpine. And he's let Stark go through. Paul Stark is through his own. Superb goalkeeping by Stewart. Still the pressure is on. Ralph Milne, and again it's Stuart saving the day for Rangers. Well, what a moment that was. Hamish McAlpine coming out to cut off Cornell, playing a little piece of football, thumping the ball forward. Sturrock with the clear running and goal. He scored so often from that position, but this time Stuart makes the save. Hegarty offering himself inside, losing out to McDonald. Here's Davy Cooper, perhaps the last chance of the first half. Van, it's Bannon back there battling with Cooper. Now oh, John Holt has a chance to clear it up. Well, he won't have to, that's the half-time whistle, the end of a pulsating first half. A great cup final so far, with Derek Johnston still on the field after that nasty head injury early on. But the nearest thing's coming at the beginning and at the end of the half. It was Rangers who created the danger, first of all, McDonald's slanted cross, finding the head of Derek Johnston and bringing out a great save from Hamish McAlpine. And then, just before half-time, great play by Hamish McAlpine, released Paul Sturrock with a clear run through and goal for United, and Jim Stewart came right back to form with that save, which must restore his confidence completely. So it's still all square at half-time. back to Hamden Park and the big question surely is whether or not we can have as exciting a second half as we had in the first half. But well, the United may have been contemplating at the interval why they had so much supremacy long periods in the first half and couldn't take the lead. Rangers no doubt heartened by the fact that they withstood so much pressure and they're still in with an excellent chance denying United their third consecutive League Cup win. So, first chance in the first half, in the second half though, to United. Free kick. In a very dangerous position for the Rangers defence. Long wall of Rangers players as Bannon takes it, threads it through, and it's well held by Stewart. We had Paul Higgard closing in on very quickly, Jim Stewart, and continued the excellent form he found in the first half. Bet to DL. 
by McDonald. Beaten by Phillips. Well, a free kick is given to Rangers. Marcel didn't seem to be a great deal in that, but Philip is penalised for holding off McDonald. So Cooper coming across to take it. Rangers big men go up. But to no avail as Sturrock now sets up something on the break. Now the pace of Milne can carry him clear. He's got help in the middle from Bannon. Dodds pushing up on Jackson. Stevens, 1 2 with Jordan. Muscle has place. Davy Cooper looking for Johnston. There's the L. Well, that was a splendid opportunity for Rangers. The aerial power causing a trouble with Davy Cooper's swinging cross, finding the head of Derek Johnston. DL reacting by going to the other post for the knock across and just putting it over the bar. Stevens, McDonald holding off Hegarty. Running into trouble. Holt now has stuck it up, stuck it onside. Holt has gone through the middle to follow that move. Still Paul Sturrock. Oh yes, oh yes, did you ever see the finish? But though the goal may not stand. The United dug out in complete dejection. The linesman has chopped it off. It was Holt, I think, in the offside position. Well, 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 one of the finest goals that Hamden has ever seen comes to nothing. Sturrock it was, taking the pass from Holt, coming inside, creating a space for the shot and rifling that into the top corner, but Holt was the man offside. Well, undoubtedly a major talking point in the match. There's Stevens. And Hamish McAlpine turning potential tragedy with the safety for United. What an effort from Gregor Stevens. Stevens taking that in a full volley, bringing out that splendid save. Kirkwood. Starrock immediately made the wide run as soon as United had possession. Now Dodds coming forward, so is Bannon. And United get a lot of players forward very quickly. Bannon appears to overrun it. Miller at the near post to clear it up. Russell doing well to get out of that tight corner. Now Billy Kirkwood. Oh, that wasn't far away. Well, Rangers should know about Kirkwood's shooting prowess. Gave him just a few yards of room and they almost paid for it. Well, you can hear what the Rangers supporters think of that. They're not at all happy to see Gordon DL go off. Ian Redford is the replacement. But I think a lot of Rangers supporters feeling that DL was one of Rangers' better players. But he's only youngster, 19 years old, perhaps running out of stamina. Cooper looking for Russell. Bannon followed him all the way. 
Man United get the decision. The United now facing the dilemma of deciding whether to try to hold what they have or look for the second goal, which would surely clinch the match. Well, there's McDonald around the back of Hegarty. That's a foul. And the linesman's indication to the referee is that that was outside the box. Well, the linesman in line with the 18-yard line. McDonald got round the back of Hegarty and a clear run in goal. Hegarty was not going to catch him. There's the foul. I think the referee is correct. That started outside the box. So it's David Cooper entrusted with the task of finding a way past that United wall. And he's made it! David Cooper gives Rangers the equaliser is right back in the melting pot. Well, he really is masterly from these set pieces. He's right on the 18-yard line, curling in over the wall and towards the top corner. But Calpine almost got it, but he couldn't beat it out. And we're back to all square. Stevens holding off dots very well to find Russell. There's Redford. Rangers now pushing more players forward. There's one of them, John McDonald. Betts playing it back to McDonald. Looking for Derek Johnston. Tremendous effort from Johnston. Russell sending it back in. And Betts finishing effort way over the top, but that really was vintage Derek Johnston. Taking the short ball played forward by McDonald. Controlling it and with a hook shot, tracking the ball off the post. Well, that certainly would have been a goal fit to win any cup final. Philip still keeping very cool. John Holt, Stevens watching it carefully, but two United players there. One of them is Derek Stark. And Stark denied the chance to turn by Colin Jackson. Re kick to United. Now, oh, can they produce the same magic as Lady Cooper did for Rangers? Well, Eamon Bannon's done it frequently in the past. So with five minutes left. Can United find a way past that five-man Rangers wall? Eamon Bannon and Ralph Milne over the ball. Oh, that missed by about a foot. Eamon Bannon driving it wide of the wall, but also wide of Stewart's right-hand post. So three minutes left. Unless we face another 30 minutes extra time. And that challenge on Derek Johnson, the judge done fair, the free kick to Rangers. Cooper fighting it in. Maybe they might well have left that. Redford, Ian Redford surely wins the cup for Rangers. Absolutely unbelievable. Two minutes left. Oh, that free kick out on the far side, flighted in by Cooper. Negative was unchallenged. He headed it out, but he might well have let it go. Redford with the cheekiest little chip shot, catching McAlpine a couple of yards off his line, and Rangers take the lead. The final whistle, Rangers 
Scots have won the Scottish League Cup in the most dramatic fashion. There's the scorer of the winning goal, Ian Redford. Look at the joy on his face. Remember this last, well, last but one hand and finally a penalty kick in the last minute for Rangers in the Cup final. Against Dundee United, which he missed, and he's now scored the goal, which has won the match for Rangers. But there is Sandy Jordan to collect the first Scottish domestic trophy of the season.